welcome back to another What's New Wednesday and this week we are going back to B&M. So yeah, this week we are going back to B&M, so without further ado, let's cut to the shop, have a look around with me, and then come back and join me, and I'll show you the bits and bobs that I bought. Here we are, back in B&M. I'm already I've spied one thing that I want. I didn't realise they sold mussels in here, cockles and mussels. Alive, alive. <laughs> and these cup drinks. Oh, these are from your childhood, those cup drinks. Oh look, you can make a drumstick squashy giant cookie <laughs> rainbow drops rocky road cool blimey i think they ordered a job lot of uh totally tea bags <laughs> all along <laughs> oh man that's a shame that we haven't got a dolce gusto i would like to try those i quite like these actually because they fit nice in your cupboards yeah they do what have we got mexican cajun per you got what you got there peri peri got all these different flavors of digestive they've got lemon drizzle we've got strawberry cheesecake there's marmalade on toast I'll make that one. what marmalade on toast yeah. milk chocolate <laughs> orange look at these they've got gooey apple jammy dodgers no. there's apple flavoring in the middle do you know what they'd be good for halloween <laughs> what's that iron brew shortbread iron brew shortbread they're like jammy dodgers again, but with iron brew in the middle. Like jammy dodgers with iron brew yeah. in the I just, I just said that. <laughs> I am seeing so many random flavours and things in here today. What are these? Slush puppy, mallow bars, cherry flavoured mallow with white chocolate flavour coating. Hmm. How many do we want? One, two. Hey, I've got a basket. The shelf. Get one more. This is a really strange B&M. So we are in the one at Western and it's alcohol and homeware. Yeah. Is it? Oh, it's storage box, but still. Weird, weird. Well, they're joking aside, these wicker baskets are really nice. Six pounds. So we are in the pet section and we need to buy Charlie quite a few toys because he is going through a real destructive phase at the moment and he's got about three toys left so we need some really robust ones like this one yeah I was thinking yeah like that. <laughs> they've also got his bed in here so this is the bed that he's got in the living room oh these, these dog bowls are nice yeah they're really nice right, yeah geo ones Oh, are they the ones that are like yeah. convex? Oh, I can't remember what it's called now. Yeah. Sloping, it's got sloping. Because some yeah. dogs can't get into them, can they? Is it? Oh yeah. So it's at an angle so yeah. you can get in. Well, I've never seen these before. A cheese bone. Well, Charlie is partial to a bit of cheese, as was Harvey, as are most dogs, I think. A cheese bone, I don't know how much it is. We always tend to focus on the dog stuff, obviously, because we have a dog, but let's have a look at some of the bits for cats. Ball chaser. What have you got? A twirly whirly cat toy. <laughs> yeah, he would. What are these fish? I'm a crinkly fish. <laughs> Laser chaser. What? A bubble gun set for dogs. It's peanut butter scented bubbles. <laughs> amazing i feel like we're spending far too much time down the pet aisle but look at these harnesses <laughs> security harnesses how cute are these wash baskets for kitties bedrooms they're really sweet i like those oh they sell the dove um like tanning body lotion in here cheaper. and it's cheaper 2.99 oh and, cheaper. and the san moritz is only 2.99 yeah, like that one, that's really cheap oh 3 99 for a bumper pack. They do fragranced vacuum storage bags. So That's one idea, smells of pink bouquet and one smells of fresh linen. <laughs> There's a jasmine one. That's a really good idea. I think the fresh linen would be yeah. nice. I suppose it keeps all your clothes fresh for when you put them in storage for winter and summer. I quite like this rainbow storage set. <laughs> I like that. I've got loads of electrical stuff down this one. Like loads. 
It's like being in Curry's. Who is excited about the Friends reunion and what did we think of it? Did we like it? Well, that ladder shelf is nice. That'd be really nice in an office. Forty pounds. Get some Lego on that. Yeah, you could, yeah, you could definitely get some Lego on that. <laughs> is that expensive for a glue gun? It is when I got three in the garage. Have we? <laughs> Oh, didn't realise. <laughs> Gosh, storage tubs as far as the eye can see. Just having a quick scan down the garden section. I think this, we'll focus on this, I think, next time we come when the weather gets a bit nicer. The plan is to do the garden up really nice in the next month or so. So I think we will focus on garden things next time. Maybe get some more lights. I know you want to get some, um, what yeah, are they well, called? I'm going, to, I'm going to wait till next week. Yeah? What are the lights that's called that you want? Are they festoon? Festoon lights, that's it. Gav's going to like Love Island. Y yes. <laughs> These are pretty cool. Electric barbecue grill. I think it drains the fat off as well. Oh, does it? Yeah, it goes into the little drain hole when you collect it. That's good. That's good though, because it's tabletop, isn't it? Oh, indoor and outdoor. Yeah. And we are done. I will show you the bits and bobs we got when I get home, probably minus the toilet roll. And we're back. And if you can hear, it's raining a lot. So I'm really sorry if you can hear lots of rain noise, but oh, I'm so over the weather. Come on, heat wave. Anyway, what did we buy? So you would have seen from the boot of our car, we bought toilet roll and... <laughs> this ginormous bag of Yorkshire tea bags. We are a, a firm lover of Yorkshire tea in this house. And um, yeah, this was 9 99 This was better than buying like two boxes or a box. We figured that because we drink a lot of tea, let's just invest and get the big bag. And you get 480 tea bags in here. So this will last us a little while. And yeah, th this was nine pound, I think it was 9 99 or like 10 pounds for this ginormous bag of tea bags. Okay, now onto the other stuff. I've got two bags. I did take a bag with me, but obviously I had to get a bag as well because we had too many things. Okay, so we bought a lot. I'll get all the toys out, a lot of dog toys. Charlie is going through a very destructive stage. I think he's like getting his second wind of teething. So he was teething at the beginning when he was like a, a teeny weeny puppy. And then he stopped for a while. He's never been like, like destructive in terms of like chewing furniture or things like that. He's very good. But just lately his toys are getting it. <laughs> and I'm talking like his fluffy toys. He's just like tears them apart. And so we're getting some robust toys for him now so we picked up a few so we got uh the first thing is we got a classic chew time twist tug this was 149 and um yeah i think it'll take him a little while to get his gnashes <laughs> around that uh we also bought uh, a nylon toy so he's got nyla bones he's got like a dinosaur that's a nyla nyla bone dinosaur which he's just starting to get to but that's stood the test of time um and so this one is from the dog father a durable nylon chew toy um featuring a red alert inner core it's chicken flavor so i'm sure you'll like that so that was 199 and then i think we only got him three yeah i think we got him three toys for now uh this is tough stuff can you <laughs> we're getting through like the durable ones uh so this is the Tough stuff, super tough woven mesh and durable webbing. Squeaks, floats and washable. So this was three pounds. It's like a frisbee. Um, but yeah, so we got him that. It's like, it's gonna be too big for him, I think. I'm sure it'll be all right. But um, yeah, quite a few dog toys. So that's definitely it for um, pet stuff. And then I think the rest is like food and drink stuff. So we got one, two, there's another one in this bag. <laughs> Three bottles of our favourite drink, which you can also get in Tesco now, we discovered. Um, but seeing as we were there and like the shelf was stocked up, we got three of our favourite pineapple and coconut drinks. You've heard me talk about this many a times. I don't need to go into it again, but these are delicious. They're a pound and we love them. I also picked up my favorite tracker bars, uh, chocolate and peanut tracker bars, love them, remind me of school. Uh, we've got some crisps, oh, these are really noisy. There we go, God, they're really noisy. 
50p fish and chips love them i think you get five packets in here is it five packs yeah five packs of fish and chip crisps chris got one of these peri peri salt seasoning shakers he figured this would be really nice for um chips when we have chips and things we'll put that on there so it's like chip spice uh and then oh we did get one more dog thing we got this that i showed you the cheese bone we're gonna try him out this there was no price on it so we just sort of thought oh it'll be a pound wouldn't it this was 2.99 <laughs> for this cheesy stick so it better be nice you better like it um so yeah i'm really intrigued to see what this is like does it it does smell of cheese but what's like i don't know is it just like a bone let's see if he likes that for 2.99 um i got a packet of mint poppets these are not for me these are for my friend this is a running joke um every time i go into the office and see my friend we have a joke about mint poppets it's like a, an inside joke between us and i always buy her a packet if i see them uh and then oh there's two last two bits two random bits chris got a shower gel he got lynx africa lynx africa are we in 1995? I didn't realise he picked up the Africa one, but there we go. A Lynx Africa. And then last but not least, random purchase, cable ties, which we actually need because I've got a new desk in the office. You would have seen it in my vlog that went up on Monday and all the wires are all over the place. So I want to tidy it up and make it look all lovely in there. And um, yeah, we've got some black cable ties for £2.50. How many did you get? A hundred which is not bad and that is it that is what we purchased from b&m this time around always random purchases aren't they but that's what make these videos fun so i hope you've enjoyed thank you for watching and i will see you guys in another video very soon take care bye